Yo, what's going on guys? I know, been a little while since another video, uh, but you know, it's about that time of the month where we get another leg fest, and this time featuring the furry leg fest. Pretty much everything's furry, so if you're a fanboy of furries, this is the banner for you to go ham. Now, one thing I will mention is that we are coming up on Christmas and New Year's in about a month or so. So I'm gonna be a little bit more strict at telling people why not to roll rather than to roll because you know, these units, if they're not limited, you can probably pull them in your sparks in the future. Um, so, or you can maybe surprise take a thumb. Couple things you gotta look at, but this is very important. Another thing, Grand Blue hit us with a curve ball and did no Halloween uh, rate up banner. I mean, unless I missed it, I haven't really been playing GBF in the last two months. I mean, for two weeks, thanks to Dragalia loss. But unless I missed it, I did not see a Halloween rate up banner. I think it would, we just had a flash gal, not flash gal, um, uh, scam gotcha. So I don't, that was weird. Um, unfortunately, we didn't have that. So rest in peace, Halloween units. They are now gone from the banner. Unfortunately, uh, if you didn't get them, well, you still have a chance to obtain them from the anniversary ticket or when they return in about six months from now in middle of like April, I believe. So just something to keep in mind for those looking to get Zeta or House Senna. Now let's go here. We're talking about the rate up characters. So as I mentioned, it's the furry banner. So if you are a guy who loves furries or female, this banner is for you. Rate up characters. So we have, let me hold up. Premium draw update. Okay, baby, let's go. So we have Ku, our code. I actually know how, know how to pronounce that. I'm gonna call it Ku. I think Ku is fine. Um, Ku is not limited, so he's a dark katana. What is he? His weapon's a dark katana. Um, I don't know what he is though. I actually did not look up, take a little look at this banner yet. So I'll be able to tell you my opinions on it when I first take a look at the characters, but I have not even took any look at it. We have Ku, um, non-limited. So it's very important. We have not Yule, uh, so I mean this character was expected to get an alpha uh, a unit thanks to the event, so uh, not limited. Cool, and she is when the follow Yule in with her summer outfit, and we have fairy rate up. Oh, that's a big one. Ooh, that's actually a very big one. Now fairy's weapon, right? I know people will probably think about it. It's not that great. It's really not. It's really overrated. It's really not that great of a weapon. It's a very nice weapon. It's okay in some areas, but it's by far one of the worst grand weapons you can get. So if you're going to like build a grid around it, uh, yeah, don't do that. <laughs> Trust me, you won't like your damage in the long run. So just want to throw it out there. Now, one thing I've been forgetting to do is mention the Zodiacs that are in the banner. And this is something I should definitely keep track of. They still have the character rate up, uh, not character, the new character bonus thing. Do we have any SRs in this banner? Hmm. No SRs in this banner, unfortunately. Okay, so the Zodiac we have for this month is Mahira. Now, Mahira is, um, she's not rate up, so I'm, the, I'm just gonna type this as Zodiacs, I guess. So. Now, my hero is not uh, rate up. And to be honest, she's probably not worth sparking right now until we get information on her five star, in my opinion. When they give her a five star, I believe they give them a rate up as well. So I think that's how they did it with Monkey. I could be wrong, but I do believe upon their five star, they do get a rate up. So right now, my hero being in the banner is not something you really want to worry about, but something we should throw out there. And the other Zodiac is Kambera again. Wow, kambera has been in every banner. She still don't got an outfit, side games. What are you doing? You don't like money? Do you not like money? Side games must be the only company I know from playing DL that does not like money or something. It's like, ah, money? Don't give me that. I don't want I don't need your money. I mean, if you don't if you don't want money, go ahead, but where's Kambera's outfit? Like, 
can we get the outfit? I, I was really skeptical on how they did dog last year. She got a SR outfit <laughs> instead of a SR character. So I, I now they're doing this with Kumbera. She doesn't even get an outfit, bro. Because she's dark skin. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. No, no racism. But I know that feeling, bro. <laughs> Anyways, Kumbera, right? So this will be the second to last banner to get her. If you have any... Um, Take it for last banner. The next banner will be the last banner to unlock her. So if you have not gotten her, this may be a time you want to go for her. You do have one more banner in November, and that will be your last time on um, getting Kumbera for those who have not gotten her. Uh, as for if you want to roll for this banner, I, I don't know yet. You may want to roll for the next banner, but let's keep going over the banner and see how it goes. Um... Now, let's talk about the Raid Up Summons. Raid Up Summons are, I believe it's an Earth Summon. Raid Up. Oh, I said Raid Characters. I'm going to put Raid Up. Oopsies. Raid Up Summons. Cool, cool, cool. I'm not, I'm not really the best writer or anything like that, so. So, we have, what's with the Raid Up Summon? I swear we had a Summon. Dogu? Okay. Doggo. Uh, yeah, I don't know what this is, but I'm, I'm guessing it's the Earth Crest Summon. Let's go take a look at the manor. Let's kill it here, right? Cool. So let's take a little quick look at these characters. Remember, as I mentioned, don't look at me as the way to tell you if these characters are going to be good or not. I can give you a little opinion on them, but no experience. Cannot really talk about a character without experience. I don't really recommend listening to people either who have no experience with the character. But let's take a little quick look here. Um, Match of dark damage to a foe. Hit the special attack. Damn. Hit the special attack damage. That's new. Next, knife dance. What? So he gets a the next knife dance. Oh, so his skill one affects all. So he gets a all allies heal and 20% charge bar boost. Hmm, Katana Harp. Well, that's a really weird combination. Dark Heal. So he's a healing character, huh? Hmm. His heal must be kind of beefy, right? Because it's a single target heal originally, it, it must be pretty beefy. I'm guessing like 5k maybe. But hit the special attack damage. I wonder if that stacks with normal attack down. I've. I've never seen this debuff before, so that's something that really needs to be tested. Looks looks good. Looks cool. Looks unique, you know? That's what you really want in this game, right? You want characters to be unique. Have a, something different that puts them out from other units because, you know, eventually, like, in a game at Grand Blue, we have so many characters. When everybody do the same thing, just like, oh, power creep that character, power creep this character. So having something unique to yourself is really cool. Feels one charge diamond on all foes, Fox Flame. Hit to light attack and dark defense. Now, if it's anything like Yule, this should be 25 and 25, which is okay. Um, at the cost of feeling one charge diamond though, I don't know if that's worth it, but let's see if he gains anything on Fox, Fame, uh, Fox Flame like Yule. Dark damage to all foes, substitute effect to caster, boost to defense. Boost the charge bar based on number of times damage it's taken. So he has substitute. Wait, hold, hold up. He's a healer with substitute? What the? But there's no damage reduction here, though. He gets a boost of defense. The boost of defense is not nearly as good as damage reduction. Hmm. And he can get a max of 50% charge bar, it looks like, to Ogi again. And this would be four turns. Hmm, I don't know how I feel about that. Did he have any boost with Fox Flame? Boosted CA specs against foes with Fox Flame. Reduced damage taken from foes with Fox Flame. It only applies to him, it looks like. It does not apply to al allies, unfortunately. When a foe uses special attack, knife dance, oh my god. 
Wait, 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 wait. So whenever he, uh, the foe activates a special attack, he ends the cooldown of Sakura, and he gets a heal. And if he has Ogid, that heal should go AOE. Wow, that's kind of interesting, huh? I mean, and he gets and he gets charge bar again from taking the next substitute. Unfortunately, you can't substitute the trigger with his nuke. But then again, you can use the, the skill three to substitute like a trigger. The trigger activates, resets the cooldown, and I guess that works. That looks cool. Actually, not that bad. Very unique. Looks really good for Fa, actually, to be honest. Um, the only thing he's really missing is the ability to clear. Um, he has no clarity here, which kind of hurts him. Um, especially if you're doing Fa solo, not having clarity is a big oomph. Um, so I don't know how I feel about that in the long in the long term. Um, I don't know if he gains clarity, but the lack of clarity is a really big thing, I think, here. Like, as a healer, the healing is not enough. You need to have clarity due to the 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 raw amount of debuff sometimes some of these bosses can apply to you. It depends on the boss, right? Not all bosses really debuff you, but any boss that is worth a, a damn, really, um, will debuff you, so. Um, I don't know how I feel about that. I think it's okay, personally. I don't think it's like game breaking or anything, but it's unique. The hit kit is definitely unique, and that alone makes them kind of worth going after. Oops, wrong click. <laughs> I'm actually not used to the gotcha being like right here, so. That's, that's something. Next, take a little look at not Yule. <coughs> oh, let's take a look at his weapon, actually. I want to I take a look at his weapon. What does his weapon do? Zuzu Maru. Um, ten percent boost to all allies. Oh, that's a big. That's big, and a boost to CA damage. Oh, this is just this oozing out to be a one turn katana move. Boost. First of all, you get the ten percent boost to all allies charge bar. The Opus already did that, but now you get another weapon. That opens up a lot of areas. Now you don't even need six in a party no more. So that's a really big thing. And it gets the double attack modifier? Wow. Hmm, does it go to skill level 15 though? I, it does not look like it goes to skill level 15 from the looks of it. I could be wrong, but does it go to skill level 15? That looks like a really good weapon actually. For one turning? Oh, that's cute. Uh, do we have any info on the weapon here? Hmm. Uh, it looks like we have no info on it going to skill level 15, to my knowledge. So, that's unfortunate. If it does go to skill level 15, I think that's really good, actually. Um, it's not an awful main hand. It's definitely something that looks really meta for Chrysor. Um, I think that's really good, honestly. And then we have... Oh, <laughs> wrong thing to look at. Whoopsies, whoopsies. Going out of, going out of order. Let's look at not Yule. I'm actually really annoyed they came out with this outfit because I really want her to get a seasonal outfit. She doesn't have a seasonal outfit go with Yule. And her getting this Komodo type thing, I don't know how I feel about it. It's okay, I guess. So she gets massive wind damage to a foe. Oh, she applies Fox Flame. Oh, that's actually really big. Because I believe Yule gets a passive with Fox Flame. Let's take a little look here first now. Because you, know, you may want to run them together. So the fact that he Ogi's Fox Flame, let's check here. Where's Yule? Ogi is Fox Flame. What's her boost to all allies damage dealt against foes with Fox Flame? So that's pretty. That's pretty nice. That's he Ogi's Fox Flame. It's not like overpowered or anything, but it's nice. It works really well in tandem. Restore the HP of allies with Naras. What? What Narasori? Right? What are these? You know these names, bro. It's trying to kill me, bro. Narasori right effect. What is this? So you okay? Four hit wind damage to a foe. Delay effect. So he keeps the delay. Oh, he has a dispel now. So if the foe has a fox flame on it, she gains the dispel. 
Okay, cool, cool. Looks the cooldown looks to be a little bit rough though. Seven turns kind of long. But delay in the spell. Ah, uh, reminds me of you know what that reminds me of? Black Knight. The whole display uh, delay in the spell on one button. I never liked that. <laughs> I actually think the cooldown is kind of similar to Black Knight as well, if I remember correctly. Six dance Sakura. Uh, the story right effect the caster and the al. Oh, she has a a length type skill. Can't grant to more than one. Ah, so her heal is only going to. Why to say allies? But it's only going to be one ally. But though I guess she gains the buff as well, right? Cause it goes to caster, so she heals herself and she heal one more ally. Uh, so she has the grayer buff or Eustace and stuff like that. To caster and an ally with the effect restores HP. What? Oh, she has a hundred percent boost to charge bar. Oh wow. Huh. Wow, well, I want to see the cooldown on that. That's 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 some meme potential right there. Get that that's definitely some meme potential. Restore all allies HP at the end of turn when a foe has Fox Flame. Oh my gosh, he heals at the end of each turn? It, it can't be a big heal, right? It can't be a big heal. It has to be like maybe 1k, but even still. Two caster and an ally. She gains boost to C8 damage specs. Remove one debuff before attacking. Hmm. Uh, before attacking. I don't know if that that's better than at the end of the turn, I guess, right? Before attacking, I can't really think of scenarios where, like, where you oh, well, you know what? It's probably not better than at the end of a turn because you won't be able to use skills. Like, for example, let's say you skill shield or something, you can't use your skills until you attack. So before attacking is kind of eh. I would have liked it to be at the beginning of a turn. I think before attacking is kind of eh. It's okay. It's unique. Her healing at the end of each turn with Fox Flame is really cool too. Uh, but I don't think she's that meta changing. I don't think she's like going to sake up win meta or anything. She's melee and harp. Oh, we got another harp user for win. So, you know, for the people who want to meme with the Ultima harp, you have that option. But neither of these characters so far don't really like push me really far. Co uh, the best Ko's, uh Katana looks the best thing here. Let's take a look at this weapon though. Cardinal Spear. Hmm. Oh, whatever. Boost the healing cap. That's all I, I just seen the boost the healing cap and I just stopped caring. I'll be honest. <laughs> the, the weapons never do good. So that's unfortunate, but eh, her weapon is boo, 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 boo. Now we, hey, we have Dogu, Dogu, whatever her name is. So 500% earth damage to a foe, wasteland crest, Earth allies, so it's the same the same thing that like Princess Long G and Surter have. This is okay. Um, Earth doesn't really have great crest building abilities because their weapon is a harp and harp class is a kind of dog doo doo. Um, not to mention they don't even have a character that really generates crest for them right now, to my knowledge. Is there a character on Earth that generates crest? I can't really think of one, right? Earth, I, I don't think there's a single Earth character that generates crest. Yeah, none of these characters generate crest to my knowledge. Not even Jessica, Alex, none of them. Oh, wait, Medusa. Medusa generate crest, right? Yeah, 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 okay, Medusa. Um, is Medusa the only one? I think Bal, right? Bal, maybe Bal does it too? I it could be wrong. Hmm. Let's take a look at Bal really quick. I don't know if Bal generate crest. Uh, I mean the Earth Attack bonus can be really good with with Medusa, but uh, Medusa I believe is six turns or five turns cooldown, so it's still rather slow. I think in the long term it's gonna be a good weapon. I, I misclicked. I meant to click on Bal. Um, I think in the long term it's still gonna be good. 
I wouldn't really go after it right now though. At those summons are surprise ticketable. Um, it's really not worth it right now. Nah, Bow does not have any crest mechanic. Okay. Mm. Yeah, I, I don't I don't think it's worth it to be honest right now. Medusa being your main crest mechanic character, sees it's not that imp uh, that great in current meta to really go out your way to get the summon. Though I do believe Double Titan is pretty decent. Um, right now Earth is kind of low on slots though. <laughs> to be honest, Double URL, Gorilla, a lot of other summons you rather have than this right now. So I don't really recommend getting it right now, but maybe in the future it'd be good. And in the future you could surprise to get it. Only for like the true, true Earth mains would you like pick it up, pick up maybe one copy just in case, you know, for the future. But as I mentioned, surprise tickets always an option for those who are willing to sell their, their wallets for Grand Blue. Now that's about it for this banner, I believe. Um, I think I covered about everything. It took 20 minutes, but you know, these videos take a while because, you know, giving my opinion on things. Now, let's talk about the next banner. So, I was actually wrong, unfortunately, in my last video. Hurts to be wrong, but, hey, sometimes, you know, you can't always be right. <laughs> this is how it goes in life. You just can't always be right. Now, next flash gala should be. No, I think no, I was right. I had fairy, I, had, I mentioned fairy rate up. I was right. Hold on, I was right a little bit. Okay, I was wrong about the Halloween characters, but I was right about fairy. Right, let's let's give me credit with credit to do before we go anywhere. Okay, so next flash gala. Um, hmm. we don't have any info on the upcoming events right now. I believe we have. Oh, I'm trying to think about the upcoming events that we have for GBF. Zeno, Zeno Diablo, right? Zeno Diablo is coming out. Hmm. I think that's all the info they gave us. They didn't mention any reruns. Hmm. I, I could be wrong, but so first thing first, let's, let's talk about the rate up weapon. We just had, I believe, Fallen Sword rate up. So options for rate up weapons, rate up characters are still Black Knight and rate up characters, Black Knight, Orchid, or surprise, Zoe. Surprise. Now, Zoe hasn't had a rate up in the longest time. The last time Zoe had a rate up, I honestly cannot remember, and it would be probably best for them to give Zoe a rate up right before Guild Wars. Um, to really incentivize people to go and pull for Zoe who do not have Zoe. So that's gonna be a big one. I don't know what characters, what characters are gonna be in the next banner. I, 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 I could probably take a little quick look here. Let me look on Discord, maybe I can find something here. Maybe somebody has a tweet. I, be, I believe they had a Grand Blue so Maybe, uh, let me, maybe, let me check. Grand Blue, yeah, maybe they had a tweet about it, but I believe there was a tweet on who, on, on like, on like some type of podcasting they do, some TV show where they, they sell upcoming events. So let me take a little quick look here just in case. Maybe they, they gave us a little ID on it. Hmm. Okay, so you have Xeno Di Diablo. Yeah, we got no real information here. A gotcha pun thing like this. Hmm. Yeah, they gave us no information. So I can't really tell you what the chance of the next gala unit going to be. I don't believe we're getting a limited. Well, you know what? Maybe we can get a limited actually. The last limited we got for a gala unit, a flask gala unit hmm, was... Been, it's been a little, it's been an ill minute, huh? It wasn't Grimnir, was it? Was it Grimnir? I think it was Grimnir. Maybe, maybe it's a limited unit. Hmm. I, I think maybe New Flash Gala Limited. Maybe. I don't believe it'll be dark though. Because right now, Flash Gala is kind of filled with so many dark units between Orchid, 
Black Knight, Zoe. There's like three dark units. I don't think there'll be another Flaskal unit. And last year on November, when we got Grand Vera, November. So if they follow the track record, then we should end up probably getting another Grand unit in November. Last year we got last year we got Vera. This year we may get another one. Maybe Noah. Possible. Noah maybe. I think I think it's Noah, right? Noah. Um. But Noah's a story unit, so I don't think it's possibly Noah. Hmm. Um, what other possible flat gal type tier units can we get? I can't really, I can't really think of Noah. I know it's a grand unit, right? He should be a grand unit to go with Rackham. So I don't think it would be him. I can't really think of any other important units in the game. I I would, I don't believe maybe Golden Knight. Golden Knight, I, I but Golden Knight is also a story unit, but Black Knight is also in the Flaskal banner opposed to Legfest. So maybe Golden Knight. I don't know what their plans are going to be, but these are my thoughts on things. Tell me how you guys feel about it. I'm going to call this a video here. You know, I like to ramble a little bit long on these videos. They take, they take way longer than they should, but um, sorry about that. But thank you guys for, for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Later.